Today we will be talking about something that might not sound exciting at first, but it's one of the key things that you need to stay ahead. But it's extremely important if you are a web designer, web developer, whatever, you work for an agency, you are an agency owner and you build websites for clients, you need this tool. And this tool I'm talking about is CookieBot. So let's dial it back a little bit and talk about cookies. And no, I'm not talking about the cookies that you buy from the supermarket. I'm talking about the cookies that you add on to a website, either a client's website or your own. So most websites today use cookies and trackers for ads, for analytics, for embedded services, and this collect personal data, such as uh, browsing behavior, for example, or location. And because of privacy regulations such as GDPR in Europe and CCPA in the US, websites are legally required for their consent before placing these cookies. And that's where a consent management platform like CookieBot comes in. So I have found that CookieBot is extremely dynamic, extremely easy to use, it can be used by anyone whether you are a seasoned web designer or not and you will see while uh, we go through the steps of implementing this on a website so this helps you request manage and document user consent in a transparent way this way your visitors are informed and in control of their privacy so let's get into it all right it is time to create our free account so i'm gonna login into my account i already have an account but you can create one sign up and then follow the steps to log in. Okay, so I'm gonna log in and I'm gonna show you around in the back end and how easy it is to implement this on a website, even as a beginner. So this is a dashboard, okay? So if you scroll a little bit down, you will see that you have a few FAQs here that you can read if you want, but we are going to go straight to domains because this is the most important part, okay? As we are on the free account, we are, have access to only one domain. We can add only one domain. So I'm gonna add this domain and let's go straight to configuration because this is extremely uh, comprehensive. It has so many options okay and as you can see here you can set your layout to have the a banner layout or a bar okay honestly i prefer the bar because as you land on a website as a user you are prompted right away with this screen and honestly if you have a beautiful hero section you want the hero section to be the showstopper so if you have a bar it's still there people know and they will see it so it's you know not the worst thing anyway this is i guess personal preference so i'm gonna leave it like this as you can see i have already customized it in the past so it's saved here uh you can select the style effect basically Right now we have no style effects, but we can choose between none or slide up. So if you have a banner like this, it will slide up and it, you know, your users will notice it. Anyway, again, this is personal preference and your own design. You can set the position at, at the top or at the bottom, but I prefer it at the bottom. And this is something that users are used to and you're gonna confuse them if you have it at the top again up to you and then let's go to the design as you can see i have kind of like designed the the you know feel and look of the banner just keep in mind that the, the design part is available as a premium feature so this will not be available anymore once your free trial has expired okay keep that in mind so you can change the colors you can uh set it to whatever you want yeah you, yeah so look at that <laughs> we're changing colors here not the nicest but i'm just playing around so you can see um what you can do so let's just do a little a lighter black and of course you can and if you have your uh brand colors it's very useful to add them here because it's going to look like it's part of the website it's not just something foreign has taken over the website <laughs> anyway so i'm not gonna go over all these buttons uh everything is you know customizable as you can see yeah and you can even add a logo yeah i really encourage you to add your uh logo here because again it just customizes so much more the banner that it doesn't feel too intrusive too foreign too you know uh, an afterthought for your users and 
let's go to compliance because this is one of those very important parts. So you can see here that you can go from explicit consent to implied consent. Uh, you can choose between uh, multi-level as it is right now, accept only. There's a few options, but you know what? I prefer to leave it at the default type. Uh, same with the buttons. Also, I like to have this as an option if people want to close it without accepting but that means that they will still accept cookies and if you hover over here yeah uh we'll add the close icon to the banner which on click will apply consent only to necessary cookies so still add consent to cookies so in terms of distribution yeah if you hover here you will uh be given an explanation what this means and if you open the drop down you will see that i have selected all visitors okay you can select whatever you want but i prefer to leave all visitors because for example i have visitors from all continents from all over the world yeah so i'm covered from like why should not you should you not have be covered by all you know why should you leave anything to you know chance i will say have all visitors checked and that's it and if you go here to legislation presets click on it you will see that you have a few presets that you can choose from i suggest that you read up on this either for each in general more information and also maybe consult some legal advisor if you want something extra than what it is i'm showing you okay i am not a lawyer so this is not legal advice I'm just showing you how this tool works. All right. So if we go to content, you will see that uh, the default language of your cookie banner is English. OK, but you can also select to auto detect the language, which means so let's say your user speaks Greek and their, you know, browser and everything is set by default to Greek. The banner will detect the language their browser uses and they will translate or they will have the text in the cookie banner in Greek. That means that your users are well informed. They 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 know, you know, they understand what they are consenting to. Otherwise, imagine having this in English only. What if your user doesn't speak English? This is just amazing. Honestly, I love that. And this is what I meant when I said that Wikibot is quite dynamic and quite um, flexible. Anyway, so you can add um, languages here if you want as well. And also you can change the, the text in all the um, for all the options in your cookie banner, but in the CMP banner. But um, make sure that you do not change the meaning of the text because otherwise this probably will put you in some legal, um, you know, I don't want to stress you, but I would say just leave it the way it is because I'm sure this has been written in accordance or worded in accordance to all the GDPR on all the legal frameworks. So make sure that you have knowledge of legislation or you know someone who can help you if if and only if you want to change the wording. All right, now let's move on to privacy because this is, I think is one of my favorite features of this uh, Gookiebot. Uh, the, that extra feature that, you know, makes it that you choose this uh, plugin. And this is basically showing you your cookie settings. So this will show your users the cookies that they have consented to, the date, the time, their consent ID. Yeah. And they can also change this. You can see that there is a withdraw consent or change consent option here. You can also turn it off if you don't want it, but I would uh, encourage you to leave it on there because this empowers your users to um, feel that they have um they are protected, they have the choice, and their privacy is uh, safe on your website at least. And of course, you can uh, change the design of this screen as well, of this pop-up. Yeah. And if you close the pop-up, you will see that it will remain this way. So let me just move it um, here, for example, yeah, because usually it's either here or here, but mostly here, I would say. If someone clicks on it, they will see immediately um, their consent information. Pretty cool, right? Now, let's go a little bit to this legislation presets here. And it is a lot of information. I would suggest that you read on each if you want and a little bit more on international data privacy legislation. 
So uh, you are well informed and uh, you can uh, apply these presets with all the information that you have. But yeah, so far so good. We are set to go. I'm going to save my settings and now let's go back to my dashboard. Okay. So uh, we can go now to implementation. We have done the configuration. We can go to implementation. Okay. So as you can see, you can uh, install this cookie bot on many other platforms, but we're going to focus on WordPress. You can also add this manually. Yeah. Um, but I will suggest to use the plugin. So this is what I'm going to do. And I am going to download it from here. Yeah. And I'm going to add it on the website that I want to add this to. Okay. All right. So I am in the OWO website. And if you don't know the website, why don't you know it? <laughs> All right. So I'm in my website. So I'm going to go to plugins at plugin and I am going to upload my plugin. And just like that, I'm going to install it and let's activate the plugin. And you will see that it will appear right here on your uh, dashboard on the left hand side. So I'm going to go to settings and we need to add our settings id okay so i'm back in my account uh, under implementation you will find your domain group id so i'm gonna copy this one and this is what you are going to be adding to your settings so i'm gonna drop it in here and it's going to look for our domain and now we can connect it and voila just like that and i'm going to turn on the website location i'm going to save the changes and let's see what else we have here i'm going to leave this automatic because it's recommended but you can go over all this information if you want to uh do more you know and our banner is turned on to show on the website so let's go to the website now to see how it looks. Okay. And I'm going to open this in a new tab and voila. Did you see that? Do you remember when I set it to slide up? It did slide up. Okay. So let's select this and I am going to allow selection. Okay. You can, if you allow all of them, they are all selected. Do you remember um, our little hairpin here or whatever you call this paper clip icon? It's right here. Okay. And as you can see, the color is black. It's set, uh, you know, integrate with my website. So if I click on this, you will see, I have them all checked, show the date, time, my ID and everything else. If we want to change consent, it's going to give me the banner again, and you can, uh, let's say turn, turn off this, turn off this and allow selection okay let's go back to our hairpin and as you can see this have changed how cool is that and again the time that this has happened and there you go this is what i mean when i say that this is one of those uh plugins uh, that are so good so dynamic honestly i think this is such a good plugin and i highly recommend that you try it to see how it is you can use it for free even after the the you know premium features have expired because the, your trial is over i really recommend that you try it out and now more than ever you have to protect yourself and protect your users as well because their privacy is very important our privacy we are all users right in the end at the end of the day we're all users we are all using the internet so let's protect each other let's protect others and give us a try what you have to lose right